all and welcome to Wow Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are working on this gorgeous little spider web coaster. Ah, oh, very nice, don't you think? <laughs> Definitely spider webby. <laughs> and you know what? It could be used for our gorgeous wine glass for our Halloween party that we're going to have here at Wow Crochet once we've finished all our Halloween gear or you could use it for your tea. I know, right? Gorgeous. Ah. <laughs> All right. So there you go. We're not going to talk about that stuff right now because that's going to happen towards the end of our Halloween series. <laughs> In the meantime, let's discuss what you will need. You will need very, very minimal. As you can see, I used very minimal black, very minimal red. You could use the orange as well for a pumpkin look about it as well. It's up to you we can use whatever color you like yours truly use the black and the red to give it that effect occasionally we had trouble um, seeing the black online but um, we worked around it <laughs> we hope we worked around it so there you go most of the tutorial was quite basic it was just a matter of repetitive action throughout each row the only difficult part was the crab stitch or reverse stitch that we used right here I did say to the newbies, if you are new and you couldn't do the crab stitch or reverse stitch, then you could just do another row of single crochet. All right. For this tutorial, you will need your yarn, obviously. Now, I used Bendigo Woolen Mills Cotton. It is a four ply, which is kind of like um, a number two overseas. OK, you will need your hook to match your yarn. Now, this yarn did call for a size three millimeter hook, so I used the three millimeter hook. You will need your scissors, you will definitely need your darning needle and you will need a stitch marker. I think I forgot to put it in once, <laughs> but you will need that stitch marker. All right, so that's it, guys. I'm not going to say any more. This is a gorgeous little coaster that we are making for our Halloween series. Don't forget to join us next week for another Halloween item. In the meantime, enjoy making your coaster. All right, guys, for this tutorial, you'll need to know how to do chains, double crochet, slip stitch and uh, a quick magic circle or magic loop or magic ring right now grab your tail end in front grab your working end around three fingers forming a cross right there yes grab your crochet hook pop it under the front loop pull the back loop up holding all that with one hand with your right hand there and letting go for now then swapping it over to your left if you are right-handed <laughs> all right and now first thing we're going to do is chain one two and three just giving that tail end a tiny little tug just to close it up a little so your space looks like that okay so that chain three will classify as your first double crochet and you'll need a chain one two have a space there for your next round so now we are going to do a double crochet and that is yarn over your hook pop it in a loop that you just made pull up a loop you should have three loops on your hook trying trying to hold on to everything there yarn over pull through the first two yarn over pull through the last two chain one and we're going to do that uh, one two uh, eight more times i'm sorry make that seven more times okay so yarn over pop it in your space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two chain one so that's one two and three all together we need nine chain one and again in your next chain one and you know what i've already lost count <laughs> <laughs> it's all right we can count at the end of the row or close to it don't forget to chain one between every double crochet okay chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one and double crochet I think we'll stop and count okay we need four don't forget chain one 
we need did i say four i'm sorry we need nine all together and that's including those first chains that you did so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine i've done one too many and there you go making sure you only have nine posts in the round okay and making sure you have chain one in between each stitch grab your little tail end now and i want you to give it a really good tug and what will happen is it'll close up that center and you will no longer have a space okay so now this is a tricky bit when you're working with black this can happen okay it can get really difficult to see but there's your chain three your second double crochet is there and you've got a, a chain before your double crochet you don't want to put it in that chain you want to put it in the one right next to it so there's a space between each double crochet pop your hook in pull a loop through and pull the loop through to the loop on your hook so you've actually closed up your work next round chaining one two three now we're going to chain four once we chain this next stitch which is one there grab your stitch marker and pop it in the third stitch pop it in the one we did before this one we just made a little bit tricky but i'm i'm sure you can do it all right so pop your stitch marker in there okay and you should have your chain one up the top there now you do your double crochet in that space now we, we're going to know exactly where to pop the um <laughs> the hook in later at the end of the row chain one jumping in two now we've, we've done a double crochet in a space now we're going to do a double crochet in a stitch you can actually see the stitch which is an absolute bonus pop your hook in the stitch and do your double crochet and chain one you're doing one in your next space chain one one in the stitch getting the picture chain one one in the space chain one one in the stitch super easy chain one and so on all the way across your work super easy oh, i think it is chain one and in the space chain one and in the stitch chain one and in the space chain one in your stitch whoops and you oh do it again third time lucky hey <laughs> chain one always remember that chain one at the end of your double crochets now we're going into the space chain one into the stitch chain one space we're getting very close chain one stitch All right now those chains that we did at the beginning that is on top of your double crochet so you're chaining one still to end that stitch then you are popping a double crochet between the two double crochets before those chains so pop it in that space right there chain one and get ready to slip stitch and now that you've got your your uh, stitch marker in there all you need to do is pop your hook in that stitch right there pull a loop through and pull the loop through to the loop on your hook take out your stitch marker super easy this pattern i tell you very very easy all right now chain one two and three hold it there okay now you want to make sure that your uh, coaster lays flat all right and it's laying flat but it might not be flat in the next round if you've muddled up a stitch so we are going to count these double crochets all right now remember you needed to have double crochets and you needed a chain before every double crochet that you did or after i'm sorry after every double crochet you did from this chain stitch right here yes you count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and that one we already counted so you have 18 double crochets 
which is correct because you started off with nine and then we doubled them. Next row, very, very simple. You've chained up your three. Before you continue, grab your stitch marker, pop it in that chain that you just did. It's a bit tight, but I would try doing it now before you um, add your next step. All right. Now you're chaining two, one and two. And here, I'm really, this is really close. Let's bring it down. You are actually in this double crochet right here. All right. I'm trying to keep it close as well as, there we go. You are actually in this double crochet right here. You want to jump straight into that next double crochet. No longer putting them in the space. So you've chained two and you jump right over to that next double crochet with your double crochet. There. Chain one and two. Go right over to your next double crochet. This is so basic, this row. One, two, you guessed it. Jump over to the next double crochet. One and two, and you're next. So that's what I would like for you to do in this round. One and two, and into your next. One and two, all right? So go ahead and do that all the way the round. Get to your last double crochet, and I shall meet you up. All righty, guys, here we are at the end of the row. I have my last double crochet to put in right there. I've chained my two already. So yarn over, pop it in that stitch right there. Let's get a close up so you can see this part here. All right, so there's our, our stitch that we need to slip stitch into, but I still need to chain two, one and two. And then all we're doing is slip stitching into that stitch marker. <laughs> always do this. Let's see, that's, that's, that's loose enough. I'm just being a bit picky. Here we go. We're in. All right, so pull your loop through and pull your loop through to the loop on your hook, taking off your stitch marker like so. Try not to lose your stitch at the same time. <laughs> and now you are going to chain one, two, three again. And in that third one, guess what you're going to do? You're going to pop your stitch marker in like so. And now all you're doing is increasing. So you're chaining three this time. One, two, three. And you're doing your double crochet in that next double crochet right there. Chain, oh, too close. Yep. Chain one, two, and three. And there's your next double crochet right there. Very hard to see the black, isn't it? Okay, chain one, two, and three. I might have to work with the lighting on the black. We'll see how I have a bit of a practice with the lighting for you to help you out for the next crochet tutorial we do in black because it's very tricky. One, two, and three. Black is very tricky at the best of times, let alone when you're trying to watch it on a, on a, on a uh, YouTube <laughs> tutorial. Okay, so that's it. One, two, three. Guess what? You're going to do that in the round. Yes, straight in the round. Well, straight. It's actually a circle, isn't it? <laughs> One, two, and three. All right. So I'm going to let you head off on your own and complete this round as well. And I'll meet you back in a moment. Alrighty, guys, here we are at the end of this round and we are flying through this, aren't we? <laughs> I've got one last double crochet before my slip stitch. So I've changed my three. I'm going to pop my double crochet. Oh, it's fairly tight for some reason. Fairly tight, but there you go. That's it. And then one two and three and then we're going to slip stitch into that stitch marker right there like so all right chaining one two and three whoops i should have taken a stitch marker out first <laughs> that'll teach me all right we're chaining three we've got our three there so now this is your final round before we change colors so grab your stitch marker and pass it in your last stitch right there okay let's just get a nice close up there all right so now you are chaining four oops one two three and four and yep you guessed it 
you're popping a double crochet in the top of that double crochet like so one two three and four and you're popping a double crochet in the top of there if you can find it <laughs> like so it's so very tricky now that they're um it's growing because it's really difficult to hold chain one two three and four and a double crochet in the top of that one there all right so continue one two three and four continue in that manner until you get to the round the end of the round and that's when we'll change our colors but in the meantime go ahead continue that and i'll meet you up in a moment all right there we go <laughs> we're at the end of the row so yarn over i've changed my four Finishing off my last double crochet in that nice tight stitch there. <laughs> okay, there. And then one, two, three, and four. All right, so now we are going to slip stitch in the top of that stitch marker there. Like there. Pull a loop through. You guessed it. You're going to give it a cut. Because we are going to be adding... The red take out your stitch marker you don't need that anymore all right so what you've got really is kind of like a the spider web look that's why we call it a spider web coaster yeah then you grab your contrast color you can use the orange or you can use the red whichever you like for whatever theme you're going with um, yours truly is going with a, a deadly coaster theme <laughs> A deadly coast of thing. That sounds funny. Now you can cast on anywhere you like because we did chains here. I'm not going to start on this thread section because I want to crochet over it. So I'm going to drop it there. Find a space anywhere across your uh, circle. You can do it there if you like. It doesn't matter. A lot of people do start where they finish off. I'm just going to pop my hook in any double crochet. Now it has to be the double crochet and not the chain. So find a double crochet grabbing your tail or your red and just pulling a loop through like so grab your little tail in pass it forward so you can crochet over it chaining one and single crochet in the same space single crochet is pop your hook through pull up a loop and you have two loops on your hook yarn over pull through two easy now in here remember before we did four chains you are going to do four single crochets and you're going to crochet over the tail you don't have to but i will so it's single crochet in that space one and then two and three and four and then you are going to do a single crochet in that stitch right there and that's where i'm going to stop crocheting over my tail if you want to keep going you can yours truly is going to weave that in later as well single crochet four one two three four and that's in the space that we are working in single crochet in the stitch four single crochets in the space i think you're getting the picture yeah so it's four single crochets in every space and a single crochet in every stitch that you come to okay easy easy see and that's what you're getting so far so you're going to continue in that round get to your last space and meet me up here all righty guys here i am at the end of the row we're going to do a single crochet i should say <laughs> the last four single crochets in the space one two three whoops three and four okay so now when we slip stitch which yours truly forgot to put a stitch marker in there but we can see it we're not going to slip stitch the red and we're not going to cut the red we're going to pop the hook through drop your red so now you're grabbing your black you're going to pop it on your hook leaving your red where it is just pull the loop through like so and pull it through the, the loop on your hook now you grab the tail end of your black which is there and your red <laughs> it's a bit tricky so your tail end of your black and your red holding it in the back of your hand there okay 
and with this black you're going to chain one and do a single crochet in the same space okay then you are going to grab your stitch marker because yours truly forgot before <laughs> pop your stitch marker in as you do all right and then you are going to let's get a close-up so you can see the first single crochet you are in here whoops you are there see that little v right next to it right there that's where you need to pop your hook and doing a single crochet and then in your next v and yes your next and of course your next and in case you hadn't noticed let's do the next <laughs> and there you go super easy yeah super super easy all right so i'm going to let you head off on your own and this is the best bit guys head off on your own do your single crochet in the round get to here meet me up and we'll talk about what we're going to do next all right here we are at the end of the row guys i'm just finishing off my single crochets now the last three left two and one all right now we've got a slip stitch back into that stitch marker however remember how i asked you not to cut your red i hope you didn't cut it <laughs> if you did it doesn't matter you can just reattach so pop your hook back into that stitch marker guys this is our final row by the way yay <laughs> pop it back in there now instead of pulling your black loop through drop it grab your red yarn again pull it through to the loop on your stitch marker and then pull it through to the loop on your hook now if you um, are new to crochet and you don't want to do this part here by all means just do a row of single crochet with your red however for the rest of us who would like to attempt this stitch it's called a crab stitch or a reverse stitch okay so chaining one all right let's get a nice close-up i would say leave your stitch marker oh no don't leave it there because that's in the row before it you want to take it out i can show you nice and closely what you're looking at this is really tight stitching now so just grab your little stitch marker right there and i'll show you when i get it through the stitch marker the stitch that stitch right there the last one we just did that's where you want to pop your hook in so as it is grab hold on to the thread there with your thumb pop it in that last single crochet that you did pull a loop back i'm sorry pull the loop through and up you should have like a your it's like a single crochet but it's kind of crisscrossy there so you just put your yarn through like a normal single crochet then you do it in the very next stitch now I'll see if I can really get a close-up for you I know a lot of people would find this quite tricky okay let's see how you can see the stitch better now that we're going in the round I'll see if I can try and find another way to show you right there that's the stitch you're going in and you're pulling the loop through now if you decide that this is far too tricky for you just where you had your red and you pulled your red through let's pretend like this is where we pulled our red through yeah just continue on with your single crochets in the round super easy okay so if you don't want to do that stitch right there do your single crochets in the round you'll still have that tiny little bubbled look but that's the look we want for our coaster because we want it to look eerie Ooh, quite spooky and eerie okay so you continue in that manner doing your single crochets in the round for the rest of us who would like to do our crab stitch by all means keep going it's a little tricky and you know it's a bit fiddly but it does make your work look super gorgeous all right so i'm not going to let you sit there and watch me do it because that'll take like forever <laughs> so guys head off on your own continue in the round with your crab stitch and i shall meet you up at the end of the row 
And what I would like for you to do, um, actually, no, what you can do, just quickly, grab your little stitch marker, and that's the stitch we, the first stitch we did, yeah? See that little loop right there? The slip stitchy kind of loop? Pop your stitch marker, oops, don't let go, pop your stitch marker in there, and then we'll talk about, when we come around, we'll talk about what we're going to do with that stitch, all right? So pop it in, leave it there, and head off on your own, and I shall meet you up at the end of the round. All right, here we are at the end of the row. It looks a bit weird, doesn't coming back the other way. <laughs> it does look a bit odd, doesn't it? All right, let's just do it like this. We'll finish off the row right there. Let's get a nice close-up so you can see what I'm going to do. So you've got one more stitch right there. We're just going to go straight into that last stitch, doing our crab stitch or reverse stitch. Okay, so this is a part where a lot of people get confused. They try to do um, a reverse stitch in there and you get like a bubbled effect. Don't do that. Lift up your thread, take out your stitch marker, but remember that's exactly where you're going to put your hook, right there. So taking out your stitch marker, that's the stitch where the stitch marker was, yeah. Then you grab your loop from your work from before and just pull the loop through. Pull up a loop, whoops, you're supposed to pull that loop up, not lose it like I just did. <laughs> Grab your scissors, give it a cut. And I don't know if I left the black on there. I did from before, didn't I? <laughs> give that a cut. You've got to weave in your gazillion ends, but that's okay. All right, so that's what you should have. And it's allowed to be a little bit bubbled because that is what the effect we want to give. We want to give it that spiderweb effect. If yours is very bubbled, it doesn't matter, don't stress. But a little bit of bubble you need for your wine glass oh sorry let's bring that out of it can we bring it out anymore that's it <laughs> or you can use it for your cup of tea <laughs> hey a vampira needs to have her tea <laughs> she could have her tea or she could have her wine tea wine wine tea <laughs> preferably the wine <laughs> so there you go guys that is your spooky themed Halloween coaster. Turn it around and weave in these gazillion ends. Let me just show you how to do one. Thank you so much for joining me today with our coaster. And once again, I may have left this tutorial go a little bit long. <laughs> Thread your needle, by the way, guys. Um, and I think I split the yarn. Let's try something else. I'll do that off air. Because <laughs> I'm going to have to fix that thread up now. Here we go. Let's get this black right here. Okay, and this is the first of our Halloween themed um, projects. All right, in the meantime, I'll let's weave in this little end here. Now, it's a little bit tricky because a lot of ends everywhere, but see this little black end? Just find some black sections. Now, you, you make sure you're weaving in at the back, okay? And that red tail needs to come towards the back later. But for now, just grab a little spot anywhere you like. Let's get a nice close-up. You can see. We'll go this way. Where's my stitch? Right there. Okay, now anywhere you like, preferably through your black and not your red, just check that you can't see or you can see the needle. So that means I'll be able to see the black on the other end. It's going to be a little bit tricky to hide this end now. you really got to get through to the back stitches and not the front that's better all right just weave that through and this is thread and it's quite a tight stitch so you don't need to over thread this okay so I'm just going to go through one more section around the back that was a little bit tricky to get through so I'm just going to check the front there ah perfect and then just pop that through I'm not going to overdo this okay you want to do a bit more you can but I think that's fine because it's very thin thread and we've got very tight stitching there okay and that's that all right and just give it a tug and it falls into place now let's just do that back one right here the very very top one where um, we uh, finished off okay okay here we go a little bit tricky that thread <laughs> but it got through in the end all right so this is where we are at the moment 
you don't want your thread to be on this side because this is where your glass is going to be. So find a thread anywhere you like splitting that thread. That didn't split. Let's try that again. <laughs> I'll just put it through the stitch then. There you go. That is splitting the stitch right there. See how it's split? Pass it through to the back and the stitch is gone. Okay. Now you turn it over and you find a spot where you want to weave it into. It doesn't matter which area that you weave into. Just making sure once again that you cannot see the needle from this side. Okay. So pull that needle through there like so. Going back the other way. We have got quite a few um, of these Halloween themed projects coming up. This is number one. We have, I don't even know how many we're going to do yet. <laughs> as many as we can fit in during August. <laughs> and if we don't, we may as well finish off in early September. But I want to make them all done. Try to make them all done by September. So that's done. I wouldn't weave that in anymore. That's plenty. All right. Give that thread a little bit of a cut right there. Okay. Now, do yourself a favour. Let's just hide all those ends. Pretend like they're gone. Shh, shh, shh. You didn't see those. Do yourself a favour and weave in the rest of the ends um, on your own. Now, with this very first end that you did, don't think because we crocheted over it, that's okay. No, I want you to weave that in. Just keep going, weaving in and out of that little centre there one way and then turn and go the other way. All right, so there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let's hide those tail ends in there. <laughs> Pretend like that's gone. Thank you so much for watching. And there is your coaster for your... Let's turn that around so we don't see the ends. Shh, shh, shh. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> There's your coaster for your wine glass. And again, it's supposed to be a little bit bubbled. That's the idea of this particular coaster. Okay, and if you don't want your wine and you want a cup of tea, by all means, have a cup of tea. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> but yours truly on our special Halloween night is going to have a glass of red. <laughs> we have more of the Halloween theme coming up. We're going to have our very next item coming up this time next week. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and do all those wonderful things that you do for me. And all I can say right now, guys, is ciao for now. Ooh. <laughs> Bye.